go speak around the country with a World Series ring, huh? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah. You got a good swing, bro. Thank you. It, 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 you got the, the natural, you know, you got quick twitch. But sometimes when we get quick twitch, we get quick minded, we get quick heartbeated, you know, instead of now, we want to make those quick twitches even quicker. Breathe. Slow the game down. What up, Chase Utley? <laughs> How's that back foot? Are you making that adjustment? Yeah. Right. Pump, pump, pump it in towards me a little bit. There you go. Might feel uncomfortable for a little bit. I do it a little bit with my front foot too. Yeah, I would say maybe not as much with the front foot. There you go. So you got to feel a little bit, you know, in a good balance. You don't want to be like pigeon toed, you know. And at times I would just to keep the foot. I would say I want to be able to free up my hips. If I'm like this, it's not going to free up my hips. I'm not going to be able to even turn them. If it stays there so you know I'd, I'd say about right in here all right and then free them up two strikes you down on the bat like that you choke up a tip uh a little bit so far. yeah okay that's good <clears throat> Get, get, get friggin' uh, Felix Hernandez out there. All right, visualize him out there. He's throwing you a 94 mile an hour two seamer that's rolling away. Both these guys did a good job. You probably taught them, but uh, the common T mistake is to just stare at the ball. You know, and you're like this. Right. You know, and you're like this, and you swing the bat, and you never, you know, and then we over rotate right. this. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, well, that's great right now, but where's the pitcher? And you'd be like, huh, what? Oh, he's way up here. You know, so that's the common tee flaw is putting there. And then you'll see the dad put the ball, okay, <laughs> put it right there. I'm like, really? Are you supposed to take a good swing on that? It's all done out here. It's like I said last night. That's like outside pitches here, boom, and boom. Yeah, we uh, definitely emphasize picking up the pitcher and then yeah. visualizing the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. We got a pitcher now. This is not a full pitch. I think it gets more guys out. It got me out than anything else other than lack of confidence. It's pulling pitches that should not be pulled. Tim's going to show that today on video when we first start how the pitchers get guys out and how they try to do things with pitches that they shouldn't be trying to do with nice. them. Yeah. And you won't be perfect. Here's the thing that I don't want you guys to do. I do not want you to be perfectionist, right? I want you to go into, I don't give a crap mode about me, right? That's a great place to play. I don't give a crap about me. I'm going to be the best competitor on the field with an attainable goal to get the ball hard and help my team win. Right. That guy's a good player. Doesn't mean you're getting three hits. It means the right guy's playing. Right? Because you got two players in. Right? Confident tape, good player, I can tell. I guarantee you not confident tape sucks. Right? So how do we get the confident guy to show up? That's what I teach. And this is why it's not about you, it's about you helping your team. I'm not this is not a three hour timeout. Nobody's in trouble. Right? right? You want tension, anxiety, and pressure, go join the military. Right? This is calm, this stuff is focus and funness and you know what three hours it's going to be fun and it doesn't mean I'm getting three hits it means the right guy's playing and now you will not underachieve right there's no such thing as an overachiever in the big leagues Dustin Pedroia is not an overachiever <laughs> he's freaking good but because he's not six foot two or even six foot it looks like he's an overachiever no he's good but he's got a great mind he's got a great heart and desire to compete right this is this is the best thing about baseball Right? You can play in the big leagues, bro. I'm telling you right now. Unless you're just a freaking spaz defensively. <laughs> I don't think you are. Right? It's just a matter of, of you being a baseball player. 
and not getting, you're going to, because when, as you go to college, you're going to see all these guys, they're going to beat the, you know, bat rack up and they don't get a hit, you know, and they're going to act like an idiot. And they, they don't, they have no, they have no uh, thought process of the big picture, right? If I told you that you're going to, you could be a 25 year old big leaguer and get eight to 10 years in deal or no deal right now. Deal. How old are you right now? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's eight more years you ain't playing in the big leagues. That's eight years to get great at doing what we're talking about right here. Get great at showing up with confidence to compete to help the team. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's when I retire. There's your 10 years, bro. But we think, oh, I gotta be Mike Trout. I gotta get there when I'm 21, 22. No. You get stronger. You do what we're talking about running. You, you put in the time. Right? You cut yourself some slack on being perfect. Right? And I promise you, if you're a perfectionist, you will not play in the big league. Just be good. It's good enough. Right? Just be good. Have fun. Right? Every time that you play this game for the rest of your life, it is opening day. Every game. Nobody in the history of the world is in the, of the game has ever walked up to play on opening day with no confidence. Because I got no yesterday to beat me up. All right, this game is set. This game is set up to make you feel like you suck, because you do nothing right, you don't get knocks, and then you do everything right, you don't get knocks, and now all of a sudden it's like, holy crap, I suck. But yet you just netted three balls, but you didn't get any hits, and that's where the trap of the game is. So, dude, you you are so far. Both of you guys are so far ahead of ninety percent of all the big leaguers that don't even know that right now. I'm telling you right now, they don't know. I had, a, I had a guy, yeah, why do you think hitting's down in the big leagues? And I'm like, my guys aren't. <laughs> Pollock's raking. Goldsmith's raking. Arenado's raking. Gritchick's having a good year for a rookie. Trumbo is, Trumbo is what he is, man. He's a power guy. You know? I mean, it's, 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 it's what you think success is. It, and as I talked about definitions, man, I'm a big definition guy. What's the definition of a good year? Well, for me, it, it, if I got 600 at-bats, Walking up to the plate with confidence, at least 580 of them. I'll let you piss away 20 in a year. Uh, but it doesn't mean you're getting three hits. It means the right guy's hit. There's not a confident batting average stat and a non-confident batting average stat. right? It's one stat that has no brain, and it doesn't care who's walking up to the plate. I'm trying to help you hit 300, by the way, if you haven't figured this out yet, by getting the right guy to play. That's good stuff right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do that 200 times a year. That's just such a good, good stance, man. Let's clean up that back foot a little bit. Get up, get, there you go. Just, just give him a little bit of rotate, like you know you. You got the, your back foot going back and this one going this way. Just now it's discipline to remember, you know. And it might feel uncomfortable, but I think it I think it's a better look to free up your hips, like when people try and bust the end, you know, because they're not gonna just let you hit line drives to left all day long. They might in high school, but not in college or pro ball. Setup. Rainer, are you doing grippers yet? Yes, sir. You doing? Um, me and John Martin do them in the weight room, but we have them at the school. I actually have some in my room. Yeah, rip them off before you go to bed, man. Uh, do, do those muscles, do all your muscles, do all your lifting after games. Right? Don't do lifting before a game. I mean, if you have practice, good, and then you, if you only have time to do it, that's fine. But when I got a game, I'm not breaking my muscles down at nine in the morning when I play at three. Right? But those are the one muscles that you can do every day and you rip them off at night, make sure you stretch, right? You, you get the grippers like this, you rip off a hundred, hundred, stretch, and then you throw the V up towards the sky and now you're gonna get up in here, right? The bottom will get down here, the up will get up here, right? What and do you mean? Just make sure you stretch. 
What do you mean by that? The angle of what you're holding the, the gripper. gripper. You know how the gripper goes like this, right. like a V? Right. Right? You do it that way, and then you flip the V up, up, flip it around, so you got the little ring down here and going up, and it gets up in here. Right. Do you do any rice stuff with forearms? Same, yeah, all that stuff, same stuff. But, right. You know, grippers. I used to do wrist curls. Right. You know, with just the bar, the right. 45 pound bar, and then do it this way. You right. Know? But you get from here to here stronger. I mean, he does look like Chase Utley in high school. This is what Chase Utley looked like. Right. And Chase Utley had just stupid little flicky wrist. At Blair Field, it's like the hardest part to hit. Like college, as Long Beach State plays their home games there, right. I'll bet you two load in and hit six home runs there. Right. And, and Utley hit three in high school. Right. So. So obviously, Spring, he's got to be disciplined enough to check his feet and that, you know, because that's not his muscle memory to well, cock it in might that. might be one of the things he writes down in your helmet. Right. You know, feet angle. Boom. Okay. I'm not going to forget now. Tuck the inside part of the ball. Boom. Hit ball hard. You win. Boom. The stuff that, you know, how about it's not about me. It's about me helping my <coughs> team. Right. Getting that guy to show up. You know, I love those little things that you have in your in the, your batting cage over there. Right. You know, let, let's put a couple of my little slogans up there. Bad and average trap. Right. Right. It's not about you. You know, stuff like that. You hear Texas. that? You hear that booster club president? Yeah. Toyota club president? Yeah, Texas, uh, <laughs> University of Texas. I agree with him. He's got all my sayings up there. Right. right. It's opening day. Every day. Yeah, opening day every day. Right. Get that one up there. I mean, that's, that's gold, man. You get 25 kids thinking it's opening day. You give him permission not to be perfect. Give him permission not to get three hits. However, I need to be the best competitor on the field. You get 25 of those guys showing up. I don't care how big you are. I don't care how small you are. You will win a lot of games. And if you don't win, it's not because the wrong guy showed up. Right. Like, I play tennis, I told you. And if you saw me warming up against some of the guys I play, you'd be like, there ain't no freaking way he's winning. Dude, 95% of all my tennis matches I win because I know how to compete. I know how to keep the ball in play. I know how to dissect the guy. Right. You see us warming up? You know what? <laughs> I'll show Still you playing serve. smart. I got my serve on, on film. I'll show you. This. <laughs> I can serve a little bit. And I can play the net in doubles. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Enough about me. You better as a middle infielder be able to play the net. That was my brother when I got married. My brother's my best man. And he goes, here's to a great guy, great athlete. Oh, enough about me. <laughs> That's pretty good. But 3-1 count. Drive it. Yeah, the inside part. Two more, that was a flips. Blue Jay ball, let's go, hit a bump. Let's swing away. Flips. Your dad sent me a video of you, and it looked, I mean, it looked like it does now. I mean, you look like a baseball player, bro. Now it's a matter of freaking getting stronger and lifting, eating right. And you ain't playing in college at 135. So just, this is the best thing about what you're bringing to the table now. You're a good player right now. Just wait until, how tall are you right now? 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, five, eight. Five, eight. Just think when you're 5'8 and 155, 160 pounds. Right? Now, now it's going to be even better. And you might even grow an inch. But I'm saying you can shrink two inches still. So that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you back for it. It's great, but 
Somebody asks you what you do for a living, you tell me you hit balls hard for a living. <laughs> you get a hit, it's a bonus. I think, think the guys around here get it. We got two big league hitting coaches working with them this weekend. Okay. I don't think I don't think a lot of them do, honestly. I, I think some do. do. Not an opportunity that comes around that for especially North Gainesville. <laughs> That's great, bud. I love the feet. I love the slow feet, man. Slow feet, fast hands, quiet head. I, I don't. I, I love that you don't have a big leg kick. I get why you do it, like Tim was talking about, to create some balance to, to where you feel that your body is. But for me, I'm right-handed. This is the same thing as this. But this, my head's gonna stay quiet. I got no chance to go up and then down and then hit hard. And now the ball's looking 90, you know, 105 instead of 95. Right. It's, it's, it's nice and slow. You want a great Daryl, you know, just go and watch a guy when he's throwing a bullpen and just stand there, stand off the plate so he doesn't drill you. And just stand there like this. You'd be like, man, I want to smoke that because our head's quiet. Right? We, don't, we don't think about our head and our vision as much as we think about our hips, where are my hands, where are my legs. You got to see the ball, man. If you don't see the ball, I don't care how good your swing is. Right? And I don't care how good your mechanics are if your mind and your approach isn't right. Because it's your mental game, or it's the mind, how you feel, it's the approach. I'm sitting fastball here and I'm not swinging unless it's a fastball or I'm sitting off speed, that's approach. And it's mechanics. And they're all three important, it is in that order. <laughs> because I don't care if you have the best mechanics, you got great mechanics. If non-confident Tabor shows up, those mechanics go out the window, right? And then it's like, it's like we get the guy fixed with the 60 year old throwing 60 in BP, and then he's broke again when the Latin shows up throwing 98. <laughs> you know? And it might be your head, but it might be a slider in the dirt. So this is all about the mind. Alright, last one. Hit this ball hard. CD.